is verse 5, seventh chapter, Gospel of Matthew, continuing the discussion Jesus has, which is a warning against having a critical attitude, a kind of ongoing judgmental attitude by which I'm constantly evaluating the lives of those around me and yet uh, blind, as Jesus suggests, to my own faults. And of course, the remedy for that is to first look to myself and uh, get rid of the arrogance that has prevented me from recognizing my own limitations before going after the job of trying to help a neighbor. And uh, so that's what we have here. We have hypocrita, of course the word for hypocrite. In the ancient world it was really an actor. Uh, that's the sense in which we should probably attach to it. It has a lot of baggage, of course, in subsequent history, but the uh, the term Jesus used actually was just you actor, you play actor, uh, indicating a kind of lack of uh, true sincerity. So a uh, hypocrite, uh, this is in the vocative uh, singular. So uh, ekbale, this is from ekbalo, means to cast out. A second person singular, aorist active um, imperative. So Jesus says, uh, you uh, hypocrite, cast out proton, indeclinable adverb means first. Uh, cast out first, ek, again the repetition here is as common of the uh, preposition, ek to ophthalmu, out of the I, su of you, the genitive of the second person pronoun. So first uh, is uh, to cast out uh, from your own eye, tain dokon. Uh, this word which stood, stood for a piece of timber, a uh, structural uh, a means of holding up a house, the weight bearing would be typically the idea, a joist, uh, some huge uh, piece of lumber is the idea. So uh, cast out first of your own eye this thing that is impeding your vision. Uh, once you've done that, which of course if we translate that into practical uh, advice is just meaning uh, get humble yourself. Uh, recognize your own faults, embrace them, recognize the limitations of your own perspective on things before undertaking the task of trying to uh, help out your brother. And uh, Kai then, Tota, of course, uh, another indeclinable adverb, and then uh, Diablepsis. This is the, the future of uh, Diablepo. Blepo means to see, Dia means to see through. Uh, it's the idea of a diagnosis, the idea of seeing through clearly is the notion of it. So then you will see clearly second person singular future active indicative. Ekbalain, the uh, infinitive here, aorist infinitive of uh, the same word we have right above it. Uh, you will see clearly to cast out uh, tokarphos, this little uh, bit of uh, debris, a little splinter, a little straw that uh, might be in your brother's eye, so cast that out, ek tu ophthalmu tu adelfu su, uh, to cast out the speck out of the eye of the brother of you. And uh, so it's uh, really a warning against uh, being too precipitous in my assessment of others before I've taken a good hard look at my own life. Easier to say than do, of course. Very much uh, reminiscent of Jesus, or of uh, Paul, rather, in Galatians, who uh, says if your brother is overtaken with a fault, you who are spiritual mean you who are walking in harmony with the spirit, uh, for whom there is not some kind of prior uh, hubris that is uh, blinding you. Uh, you are the ones who should go and uh, modestly uh, correct your brother, doing so with a deep sense of humility, of course, and uh, not a judgmental, censorious attitude, but doing so hopefully in a way that is going to <coughs> express genuinely love in the uh, situation.